going on, y'all? Wednesday morning, back at it. Gassing her up. No leaker. Just getting it through another another season until the winter so we can change this thing out. Rocking out with the mic manifold. That's what I need. Stub gauge, stub gauge, valve, T, valve. Yellow hose going back to your tank. Weighing it in a little bit. Already looking a little better. Have it started to, oh, we're just starting to chill back. Just a little bit, if you can see it. But, yeah, let's give it a little more. Get up to two pounds here. There we go. Some of that pink juice. Pounds, let it stabilize. I think that coil might be a little dirty too, so I don't want to overcharge it. Anyway, that coil might be changed out this winter. It's kind of a just a little strip mall complex. Clean my lens off real quick. So yeah, it's always what's the cheapest option for right now, so hence the gas and go. But yeah, that's my setup. I got Stub gauge, stub gauge, one of these T's that actually has the cord depressor in it. Schrader core here, no no Schrader core here. Just the valve that's standalone self, you know, self standing little valve here. And this is the valve that's built into the hose. That's just my charging hose that I carry. Roll it all up, put both ends of the hose right here. Keeps it pretty clean other than this end right here being open, but I hang it off my tank. Get two pounds. We're already chilling back, that beer can cold. And we're about 40, about 40 degree coil, so since we're already chilling back, I may go check that coil and see if it's just filthy, dirty, what we have going on downstairs, but at least they're cooling now. Anyway, just a quick video. Like and subscribe. That's what's up.